safe, that we can have a wonderful day and come back and enjoy the camaraderie of all of us who love to spearfish. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Let's rock and roll. A ton of Almaco jacks. Oh, I had a springer, I was gonna put them on. Okay. Oh, let me. Thank you, sorry. Yeah, there's, I mean, that's mainly what's down there. I'm going to keep looking inside of the holes. No, they don't. Yeah, so it's perfect. What is it that you do? What do you do? Student. Uh, FIU. Uh, international business, but I want to study uh, ocean and environmental science. Or switch up to that eventually for my master's. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So this year, the Jack Kearns tournament was going for overall weight of any legal fish over 14 inches. So we were hoping to hop on the leaderboard with a couple of solid fish while diving a shallower wreck. Unfortunately, there weren't any larger fish, but we did have some luck with some nice Almaco Jacks. Them. I mean, it's pretty small snappers and occasionally a jack. So, sure. Hey guys, oh, they're busy, I guess.
got you, bro. Huh? Yeah. I mean, there'd be times where there was no, no jacks at all, and then they'd swim by in groups of four. Yeah, they just swim through. I mean, you just don't see anything until you're at the bottom. What? I don't want to stab anyone. That'd be a nice, nice thing. Yeah. At this point, having the Almaco jacks from the last spot, we were searching for some larger fish, so we came to this reef. Although I'm not usually the biggest fan of eating or hunting barracuda, we were hoping to have the weight to our category, and with the guys on the boat saying they would eat it, I was set on getting one. Two barracudas here, big ones. Man, hard. I was hoping by looking in these caves I'd find a grouper. The strawberry grouper wasn't what I expected, but seeing that there was nothing else, I went for it. I knew it wouldn't count towards the tournament because of its smaller size, but since they have no size limit, I was getting it to take home and cook. They taste great. Finally finding a barracuda that wasn't skittish was a relief. I knew this one was set when it opened its mouth and looked at me with a territorial look. Nice little weight. Can I literally hold that thing up? I saw the one you shot. It dude, slammed that way. Dude, that thing, I was looking at it and I was like, honestly, I thought we should just this thing just because it's not my full spear and if I let it disappear. Yeah. Shit, oh. mackerel and I saw the weight turned, I thought this was a sure shot. How it happened, I have no idea. I think I saw it move an inch forward right before it took that shot. So close. We did a couple more dives in a different spot. There wasn't much going on over there so we ended up deciding to go right back to the finish line.
Once we start pulling up on the finish line, we start seeing some of the large fish the other categories were shooting in 70 plus feet of water. Massive African pompano and nice yellow jacks to say the least. I didn't manage to get the weigh-ins, but for the primitive category, this other team ranked second. They ranked third in lionfish category, and one of their numbers got first place for the women's category. Primitive goes to Christmas spirit. I didn't expect going out into this tournament to get first place. For me, the best part of the tournament was actually getting to work alongside my teammates and meeting all these great people along with having a great day on the water was perfect for me. Special thanks to Joe for letting me go on his boat, for letting us use his and Mike's spots. Thanks to all the sponsors of the overall event in South Florida Freedivers. Hope to be out there again next year.